Hello athletes and welcome to Subaru Ironman 70.3 Muskoka presented by Subaru Muskoka. Greg Nickley, your host here for Subaru Ironman 70.3 Muskoka. We are very excited to have all the athletes with us this year and boy oh boy are we excited to be back in Huntsville at the Canada Summit Center. We are so pleased to have you and so excited to get this event going to see you reach your goals. I encourage you to follow all the instructions in the athlete's guide. Everything you need to know about the event is in the guide. It's the spot to tell you where you need to be and when you need to be there. I'll be on site Saturday uh, at the finish line adjacent to the Canada Summit Center uh, during the mandatory bike check, which goes from 10 until 5. Athlete check-in is on Friday from 12.30 to 7 and on Saturday from 10 until 5. It's a great opportunity for you to check in with our vendors. A number of great vendors, including Subaru, will be on site. You'll be able to visit with Lac Boutique de Lac, the official bike shop of Subaru Ironman 70.3 Muskoka, and of course, our merchandise area that will be on the ice floor at the Canada Summit Center. I encourage you to come down to the race site wearing masks when inside, uh, when you can't stay more than six feet apart from people that are not in your party. One of the things that I strongly suggest for every athlete that participates at Subaru Ironman 70.3 through Muskoka is that you take the opportunity to walk through the transition zone, go down to the swim start so you know what to expect race morning. Uh, this year, unlike races in the past, we are doing a rolling start so you can get to know how far it is down to the walk, uh, how far it is down to the swim start. There will be a bag drop at the race start. However, really strongly encourage that athletes plan ahead. Maybe have a family member join you at the swim start who can take your race morning gear back on your behalf rather than a race morning bag. However, if you're going to use that race morning clothes bag, that's okay with us. It'll be back on the ice floor at the Canada Summit Center after the event. On race morning, you're going to set up in the transition zone according to age and sex on the rack, like you would for any small or medium-sized triathlon. All your stuff will be at your bike, so your bike shoes, your running shoes, your helmet, your race bib, those kind of things will be set up at your bike. Once you exit the water from the swim, you're going to run up into the transition zone, you're going to put on those bike shoes, put on your bike helmet, and you're going to take your bike out to the bike mount dismount line. There is a swim cutoff time that athletes need to be keeping aware of. Uh, swim cutoff time is one hour and 10 minutes after the last athlete enters the water. However, if you are more than one hour and 10 minutes swimming during the event and you started a little earlier than that, you may end up with a DNF. The bike is an out and back. You are on roads that are open. There will be vehicles on that road and we do have police protection at the major intersections. So just be aware that the roads are open. There could be cars and we're very pleased the municipalities in and around the Huntsville area allow us to use these roads. Absolutely no littering, no blocking, no drafting. Keep six bike lengths between you and the athlete ahead of you. Keep to the right so the athletes coming up behind can get past you on your left. There are three aid stations out on the bike course. There is one aid station at the 24 kilometer mark, just past the halfway point, and then again at the 20 at the 66 k mark. Um, there will be water, Gatorade, and gels available for you at the aid stations, and this is also a location where you want to drop any waste that you might have. There are some bike cutoff times you want to be aware of. Uh, we do have the bike course open for five hours and 30 minutes after the final athlete starts to swim. For more information on the bike course cutoff times and locations, take a look at page 12 in the athlete's guide. There is a new run route this year. It's an out and back. You're going to do it two times. You will, uh, and then we'll see you finish uh, the finish line smiling for finisherpicks.com. Out on the run course, there are aid stations approximately every two kilometers. Those aid stations will have Gatorade, water, Pepsi, gel, bananas, and pretzels. There with some of those aid stations will have a bathroom and medical assistance at them should you need them. When arriving at the venue on Sunday morning, keep in mind that the Huntsville is doing a big dig in the downtown core. It looks a little different this year. Go to huntsville.ca forward slash digging downtown for more information on where parking is permitted. We do have a number of spots in and around the site for you to park, but you cannot park at the Canada Summit Center on race day. For those of you coming to cheer on your favorite athlete, please keep in mind that masks are requested while you're inside the building and within six feet of others at the Race Village. At the Race Village on the Canada Summit Center, it is open from 10 till 3. I will be announcing at the race finish line during that time. Awards and roll downs for the World Championships will take place after the event or later in the day on Sunday. Keep listening to my announcements throughout the race day on Sunday for more information on awards and the roll down procedures and the time we'll be doing those. Our crew, supported by fantastic volunteers in and around the community and around the Huntsville area, are very excited to have this event going. We encourage you guys to visit safely in the city of Huntsville. We are proud to partner with Subaru. Every athlete that participates on Sunday is eligible for $750 off the price of a brand new Subaru. Go to a Subaru dealer near you or go to Subaru.ca for more information. New to this year is the Road to Kona. Uh, Subaru is giving out a prize pack. 
to one lucky volunteer who'll be able to spend a week at the Ironman World Championships, have the opportunity to volunteer uh, at their World Championships if they so choose. For more information, go to roadtocona.ca. Subaru Ironman 70.3 Muskoka, presented by Subaru of Muskoka, starts Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Swim start is at the beach. That's about a 500-meter walk away from the transition zone. Put that in your schedule. When you're heading down to the beach, make sure you take your goggles, your timing chip, and your swim cap. Do athletes, you guys are going to start at 820. You're going to start adjacent to the swim exit. You are running two 2K loops, again, right adjacent to the swim exit. Once you're done your 4K run, you're going to merge with the athletes that are participating in the swim. You're going to go do the 90K bike. You're going to go do the 21.1 kilometer run uh, with the other athletes. Athletes are also reminded there are no wetsuit strippers this year. So that's something for you to keep in mind as you exit the water. On behalf of Nick and Dave and all the crew, we want to welcome you guys. You're going to have a great race day. It's going to be a safe race day. We look forward to seeing you and smiling all day long, all weekend long, as you experience Subaru Ironman 70.3 Muskoka, presented by Subaru of Muskoka. For more information, again, refer to the Athletes Guide or visit with me on Saturday from 10 until 5 at the finish line. I'll do my best to answer those questions or to point you in the direction where you can get those questions answered. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your race. Fans and athletes will see you smiling at the finish line as part of Subaru Ironman 70.3 Muskoka, presented by Subaru of Muskoka.